Hey adventurers, welcome to Southern California. Now the weather's still kind of cold out here, but it can still be a great opportunity to find things like this. This is a California newt and creeks and streams like this all throughout California can be great places to find newts. So here's one and I, I uh, you know, if there's one, there's probably more. So let's keep looking and see what else we can find today. My favorite area to look are places where the water sort of pulls up like here and it's not very fast moving. Um, you know, they can be in faster streams, but I rarely see them like that. And in fact, <laughs> there is another newt in here. I still have the first one in my hand, but there's another one in the water there. If you can, can make it out. Areas like this uh, are probably going to be really abundant and thick with newts just in a couple months. It's really, really early for them. We've had a lot of rain, but these guys in Southern California like to breed more like in uh, March and April. And so I usually see the height of them uh, that time of year. So, but you know, there's not really a chance for snakes today. It's still pretty cold. I mean, I guess we could find one, but uh, salamanders are generally pretty abundant. So I'm really glad that we found these little guys. All right, let's see these logs. Look nice, probably pretty damp too. Anything? Nothing under this one. How about this one? Nope. Oh, here we go. That is a slender salamander. Very cool. Oops, let me grab them. Here we go. Now out here, the only slender salamander is the black-bellied slender salamander. Uh, they are one of probably one of the most common things we show on the channel because they're pretty ubiquitous and they have a really large range. But really nice to see another one under a log here. Um, yeah, but we won't we won't take a much of a look at this guy since we see them all the time. So time to. Put them back and uh, see if there's anything else to find. All right, let's put you right back where you were. Right there. There we go. You can dig underneath there. Nice. Oh, now you can see him. There he goes. He'll find a new spot to hang out. Very, very cool. All right, Zeev just flipped us a handful of more slender salamanders. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two, three, four, and five. That is a pretty Any impressive, uh, pretty, pretty impressive six, flips. Six right here. Oh wow, yeah. One, uh, you just see the tail sticking out there. Who knows, there might even be another one that we, uh, we didn't see. But this one's got some nice red color on it. Um, th this guy just jumped in front of me. Uh, there you go. I don't know. How did? did I don't even know where he jumped from. One of their. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's another one. I'll yeah, throw, huh? spring one, two, spring three, loaded. Five, six, seven of them. Well, let's uh, cover them back up. All right. Yeah, seven seven slenders. Nice. So I just want to take a second. I really love the beauty of this trail. Just so much water. Now this isn't going to stay like this all year round. It's the winter time. We had a lot of rain, and so. Most of the time, I would imagine that this is probably pretty dry. But just look at how beautiful this is. Just a really gorgeous landscape in this canyon. And uh, yeah, I think, I think we picked a good trail to, to enjoy today. So hopefully we'll find some more stuff and, uh, and we'll get back to searching. All right, Tatiana is holding another uh, another newt. Uh, these guys are, are really st just starting to show up, uh, and hopefully in a couple months they'll be here in big numbers. But another uh, another good find for uh, for winter herping in California. Hey, so we've moved to a different spot, a bit higher in elevation, and I just found an endemic to the San Gabriel Mountains. This little salamander here. Check it out. That right there is a San Gabriel slender salamander. 
and they're only found in the higher elevations in the San Gabriel Mountains. And one of the cool things is like this salamander was only first described in 96. And really there's a lot of research being done in salamanders and new species are being described every year. So cool to see this little guy. I'm next, right next to the road. You can tell it's kind of loud. Hopefully the audio comes out cool. But St. Gabriel Slender Salamander, a lifer for me. Very, very exciting. Definitely a tough one to find because you got to be in the just the right habitat for it. But let's keep looking. All right, check it out. Here we go. Just flipped another San Gabriel Slender Salamander. Check it out. This one is pretty beefy too. A great specimen. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over the cars uh, that are on the road nearby. It's kind of a busy street, but this is definitely what I was hoping to see. So, like, yeah, this is a full-grown one, and it is exciting. A lot, a lot better look than that little tiny one we had earlier. Excellent. All right. Time for him to go back right where he came from. Bye-bye. Stay safe. So winter herping can be a little tough in Southern California, but I think we did all right. We got some major salamanders and some newts on our list, and that was great. And you know, we tried to explore places that we hadn't been to before this weekend, and you know, I think that the places we found are gonna be places we'll return to maybe in the spring or maybe next year, who knows. But anyway, I hoped I could show you a little bit of some of the cool things that you can find out here in Southern California in the Los Angeles area. I'm Greg Schechter, this is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.